Good morning, 916. I hope you are starting your day with that beautiful sun just shining down on you. Let's get straight to your forecast with Wes Peary. Hey, Wes. Hey, good morning. We're going to have a great morning overall for everybody. I mean, it's just gorgeous blue skies. In fact, if you're spending a lot of time outside, you may want to put on the sunscreen because there's not going to be a whole lot of clouds out there. You know, I hate putting this up because it just like teases everybody, but grass is ready to go at Truist Park, everybody. As soon as we get over this, we'll be good to go. 50 degrees currently outside at Hartsfield Jackson. It's 44 downtown. Fulton County Airport's also at 44, 47 in Chambly, North Georgia. Pretty actually uh, varying temperatures right now from the upper 30s in Blairsville to 50 at Hartsfield Jackson to 48 and 8 and 10, 46 in Thompson and LaGrange. We're on our way to the 60s and the 70s for highs today. This is perfect. I mean, literally perfect seasonal weather. The average high is 71. My forecast is 71. It's mostly sunny. I'm giving it an 11 out of 11 on the wasometer. Today is the uh, quiet before the storm, as you might say. I think I'm going to say that about 30 times for the next 24 hours because we're expecting severe weather tomorrow, possibly two rounds of severe weather. One underneath the level three risk, that's the TAM or an enhanced risk. Numerous to persistent scattered severe thunderstorms are going to be possible. And that includes a few tornadoes and widespread damage and wind gusts. That's really what I'm most concerned about because I think the damage and wind gusts are going to affect the most people overall. Also have a medium chance of flash flooding and for tornadoes. Now we don't give tornadoes a medium chance very often. But that should tell you something. Most of us are underneath the level three, except for once you get over here to far eastern uh, Georgia, turns to a level two, level four over here, level four out of five, almost maxing it out with our threat levels here, includes Birmingham. This could get stretched further off to the east to include uh, maybe parts of far western Georgia because of the threat of damaging wind gusts. That's our biggest threat. Second one is tornadoes, especially across western Georgia. This is from the Storm Prediction Center. What they've done is they've put out this little outline area with these black lines through it. This is those forecasters telling us in the media world and the public, hey, we think there's a significant threat of strong tornadoes here. So I want really everybody to know Rome, Marietta, Carrollton, Peachtree City and LaGrange. It is especially important that you get ready to heed tornado warnings from either of these rounds coming on Sunday. Nice sunny today. All good. Here comes Sunday. Round one of severe weather is in the afternoon, especially four and five o'clock. We'll heat things up nicely. This could actually inhibit our second chance for severe weather and it's tough because you almost want it to, but you don't want to have two rounds. So either way, it's bad news. Here comes our second round. I think this is our better chance for severe weather overall. This whole line could be severe with tornadoes, severe thunderstorms capable of producing damaging wind gusts near the cold front. Look at what time it's coming through. See over my head, two o'clock end of four o'clock. Tornadoes that occur after midnight are more than two times more likely to be deadly, which is why I'm stressing so hard. Uh, download our app. We're going to pop up the QR code here at the bottom of your screen. Pull out your QR code reader or your, uh, or your phone. Take a picture of it. You can download our app. We will send you weather updates from here on out so you can keep track of the forecast. We'll also send you the warnings and make sure you put your phone on regular mode. Don't put it on do not disturb because I want you to be able to get annoyed as much as possible from all these warnings coming through to wake you up because these could save your life when maybe some tornadoes move through on Sunday into early Monday morning. So an 11 on the wasometer for today, a five for tomorrow. I'm cutting that way down because of the threat for severe weather. A seven on Monday. If these storms slow down, the line of thunderstorms could continue to move through eastern Georgia even after eight and nine o'clock on Monday morning. We cool down significantly after that as a big shot of cold air moves through. Highs only in the middle 60s by Wednesday with a 40% chance of rain.